Hello, sports fans, and welcome to the Sky Sports 101 uh, Thursday Night Football. We'll call it a, a third quarter update show, we'll call it. Right now, the uh, the uh, Jets and, uh, and the uh, Broncos are squaring off. And the Jets are up by them 17 to th the, uh, yeah, the, uh, no, the Broncos up on the Jets 17 to 13. And, uh, and, uh, I'll break it down, get my thoughts, and we'll update you. And, uh, but first, uh, here is today's Scott Sports 101 Thursday Night Football Trivia Question. In 1989, this NFL team uh, went a respectable 11 and 5 in the season. In Super Bowl uh, 24, then went up against the 14 and 2 San Francisco 49ers, but forgot to wear their game face as they lost 55 to 10. Which team was this? I will have the answer later on the podcast. Well, it's Thursday Night Football Week Four, and the Denver Broncos and the New York Jets are squaring off at uh, MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Uh, the Broncos are coming off a bad loss to. Uh, to the Tampa Bay uh, Buccaneers, 28 to 10 last week, uh, in uh, week three last week. Uh, Broncos QB uh, Drew Locke got injured in the loss to Tampa Bay last week in week three, so there's a big change of quarterback tonight for the, for the Denver Broncos. The uh, Denver is expected to start uh, Brett Ripken, Ripken, excuse me, Brett Ripken tonight against the Jets. NFL Network's James Palmer reported. Tuesday, per sources informed of the uh, situation, uh, Broncos head coach Vic uh, Fangio uh, later confirmed that Rippin would uh, get the start while adding that they have, have the ability to uh, mix Jeff Driscoll into the game if we like, if we, if, if we feel we need to. Uh, and now, uh, Brett Rippon is the nephew of two-time Super Bowl champion Mark Rippon. Brett Rippon, uh, went, und went undrafted at Boise State in 2019, landing, uh, with the Broncos on there and spending, and spending much of, uh, his first season on the team's practice squad. 2020 began in similar fashion until an injury to Drew Locke, uh, threw a wrench into the Broncos' quarterback plans. And, uh, and requiring the team to promote Rippon to the active roster to back up Jeff Driscoll. He replaced Driscoll in the second half of last Sunday's 28-10 loss to Tampa Bay, uh, co competing, uh, completing 8 of 9 passes for 53 yards. The lone incompletion was, was no good. It, did, it, went, uh, it went out of bounds, and I got a... Uh, there was a, I think, one fumble last Sunday. So, uh, and uh, so now, it was good to get a drive in to get, to get in there for a drive last Sunday. Rippin said. Hopefully, he says. Hopefully, that can carry over to uh, this Thursday tonight. Now, the Broncos really need to, uh, have, and Rippin really wants to prove that he is the the man that can start for the Broncos, and he really wants to have a good game tonight and really. Get the Broncos their first win of the season. And so, uh, he really needs to show his stuff out there tonight and really uh, let the Jets know that this is the Broncos game and they are going to win. Meanwhile, the Jets are coming off a 36-7 loss to the Indianapolis Colts last Sunday in Week 3. In Week 3. And that was just not a good game for the Jets. And they're also, also struggling. And they're hoping to get their first win of the season tonight. Sam Darnold really wants to prove that he is the uh, the QB the Jets want uh, long term. Darnold must have a really good game, a really good good game tonight uh, against Denver. And the Jets' offense really needs to step it up, uh, especially their defense really needs to step it up in this game tonight. And uh, they need to keep uh, Brett Rippin uh, on the ground and keep him from running the pocket. And if they can they get the job done, I think the Jets could uh, really get the uh, the win in this game tonight. And I'm taking the Jets to 
and in my in my week four picks to beat Denver, and my brother in law Eric Hoyo is taking the Denver Broncos. Uh, and uh, we'll talk more about this game, but first, uh, right now it's time to reveal the answer to today's Scott Sports uh, 101 uh, trivia question. Uh, in 1989, this NFL team won a respectable 11-5 in the season in Super Bowl 24. They went up against the 14-2 San Francisco 49ers, but forgot to wear their game face as they lost 55-10. to Which team was this? And if you said the Denver Broncos, you are correct. <coughs> the Louisiana Superdome in New Orleans saw this blowout uh, of a game. The 49ers led 27-3 by halftime. The only uh, touchdown scored by the Broncos was a three-yard run by QB John Elway. 49ers, uh, 49er quarterback Joe Montana hooked up with wide receiver Jerry Rice for seven receptions and 148 yards. I will have another trivia question on my next podcast, which will be on uh, Scott Sports 101 NFL Football Sunday. Uh, now, I think it's going to be one of those games that's not going to be a high-scoring game, but it's going to be a low one. And right now, it's 17-13 Broncos right now. And so the Jets really need to step it up if they want to win this one tonight. And uh, now keep in mind, uh, both uh, the Broncos and the Jets are both 0-3. At the end of tonight's game, uh, one team will go to 1-3 and and no longer be winless. And the other team will fall to 0-4 and still be looking for their first win of the season. Now, I feel this is not going to be a high-scoring game. And I am going to go Jets. Uh, Jets 20. Uh, no, Jets uh, 23, Jets 20. Jets 23, Broncos 20, excuse me. So uh, I'll keep you posted and I'll uh, have an update for you as this game will... After this game is concluded. So. And so. But I do feel the Jets are going to get the win. Because they're playing in New York. And I think they're going to want to win. Because it's a prime time one for them and the Broncos. But the Broncos are on the road. But I don't see them getting a, a win over the Jets tonight. So I really feel that the uh, Jets are going to prevail and win this game tonight. I really think that they are. So we'll see what happens. Uh, well. Uh. That's just about going to wrap it up for the uh, uh, Scott Sports 101 uh, Thursday Night Football uh, third quarter update show. And I will have a uh, Thursday Night Football postgame show once the Jets and uh, Broncos game is concluded. But until then, always remember, be a team player each and every day and every way possible. So long, everybody. 3-2-1. I'm done.